In this video, I'm going to teach you the basic weapons of Muay Thai. This session involves strenuous activity, so it's my advice that you have at least three months of training before you start this session. Okay? So let's begin. So the cup. Holding the tie pads for the knees. Simply take your right tie pad and rest it on top of your stomach. With the left tie pad, you're also going to rest it on top of the right tie pad. From here, it's important that you turn your hip to the side not facing forward against your partner. Holding the tie pads for the punches. Once you have the tie pads onto your arms, basically raise it up to chin level. From here, all you need to do is just relax the only time you need to apply pressure is when the punches come at the pads, okay? Now, do not push forward too much. All you need to do, again, is to relax, and once the punches come, is just apply little pressure, just like so. Now, in helping demonstrate this technique is one of my students, Marlo McCray. She will uh, apply the punches to the pads, and what I want you to do is watch my shoulders. Watch the motion. Now again, notice I do not push the pad forward as she punches, just a little bit. Thank you. Holding for the roundhouse kick. Get back into your fighting guard position. From here, raise up your pads at waist level. Turn your hip to the side for the roundhouse kick to the right kick. From here, put the pads as close as possible off to your left center. Now again, relax your shoulders until the kick comes towards the pads is when you apply the pressure. Again, do not push out. Just like so. Ready? Thank you. The same goes for the left kick. Simply turn your hip to the side. Again, bring your pads as close as possible from here. Just relax and apply pressure at the kick. Elbows. Elbow number one, the straight elbow. At fighting guard position, your hands should be at cheek level. From here, all you do is turn your wrist into your right chest. From there, turn your hip and pivot off your right heel, keeping your left hand high. The weapon that you're using is the point of the elbow. If you do not touch your chest with your wrist, what happens is you will scrape with the forearm. So again, from here, touch your wrist to your chest. Same with the left. 
elbow number two. Again, guard position. Simply raise your right elbow above your head, lifting your right heel off the floor. This is where you get your power. From here, squat down just a little bit. Do not bend down. The weapon that you're hitting is the head area. So, bring it up high and come down at a forward angle. The last elbow, number three, the uppercut elbow. One of my favorite elbows. At guard position, all you do is like you're gonna pretend you're combing your hair. See, pretty cool, huh? Anyways, at guard position, what you wanna do from here, raise up your right elbow, swing it right across your ear, and as you come up, keep your left hand high. Again, the power is from the hip. Now, it doesn't seem like, once you do this on your own, it doesn't seem like there's enough power. Trust me, I've cut guys and given them 17 stitches just with this technique. Now, to help demonstrate all these elbows, is one of my students, Selma. When throwing elbows on the pads, do not pass the pad. As soon as you hit, come back in position. Elbow number one. It's very important, again, to keep your other hand high. Elbow number two. Come up high off your heel, and from here, come down. Elbow number three. Using your right or your left, up to you. The knees. I'm going to show you two different knees. One, the long knee, the second one, the grab knee. Simply, for the long knee, at guard position, you will thrust your right leg, your right knee, out into the air. Simply, from this position, keeping your base leg with your heel off the floor, thrust your knee at the same time, you will pull your hands down towards to the side. Okay? Okay. Grab me. Grab me simply means that you're pretending you're grabbing the person in front of you and applying the knee. Bang. Simply take your hands, put them right side by side behind each other. From here, keep your chin down, curl your stomach in. From here, rest your knee forward and come back in position. Again, turn your arms to the side of your hip. Alright, let me show you how this game works. With a long knee. Again, very important, pull your hands down. From here, we're gonna go into the grab knee. Simply lock your hands behind your partner's neck, pull in. From here, you're gonna lift yourself up off the floor of your heels, curl your stomach in, and from there, lock those babies. Okay, to help demonstrate the use of the long knee and the grab knee is again my students Selwyn and Mike. One of the things you want to look for, number one, is the chin. Make sure your chin is down. Second thing, as you trust your knees, please stay off your heels. Stay on the balls of your feet. This is Selwyn is demonstrating. One thing when you grab for the knee, thrusting the knee in. Do not forget, do not forget to thrust the knee, I'm sorry, to pull your hands down into your partner, just like so. Do not just throw the knee here. It's very important that you pull your partner's head down. The master used to tell me that if you thrust the knee into a partner, it's illegal. But if they fall into your knee, it's okay! So make sure that you thrust your partner's head down as you thrust your knee. Alright? Let's go. Again, stay off the heels, stay on your toes. That's it. Okay, very good, guys. Thank you.
roundhouse kicks. There's two main weapons, the leg kick and the arm kick. The main weapon that you're using when you throw your kick is the top of your shin, the very front of your shin, from the top of your uh, foot to the bottom of your calf in front, this whole area here. It's very important when you throw your kick out that you turn your hip, keeping your hands high. I will demonstrate the low kick. And the low kick, the target is right at short level. Two, the second one is to the arm. I will demonstrate the low kick in the air, and I want you to practice it with me a few times, okay? I got position. What you want to do is lift your knee to the side of your hip from here, turn your hip, and spin all the way around. Come back in position. Again, lift your knee up to the side of your hip, and turn. Come back in position. The arm kick is a little bit different. From here, you're going to lift yourself up, stay on the balls of your feet, and at guard position, again, kick upwards. Should bring your knee up high to your waist, and then from there, come back in position. The roundhouse kick to the arm. Again, the target is right across the arm. So from guard position, you're going to stay off your heel. From your stance, again, lift your right leg to the side of your hip, and then from there, that's where you turn your hip. Come back in position. Come back in position. Okay, it's better demonstrated when I have a partner. So I'm gonna bring in Selva. Come in this position. Leg kick. I got position. Again, my target is at the short line. So what I want to do, using my shin as the weapon, come into the target. Come back in position. Okay, the second target, the arm kick. Again, guard position, stay off your heel, march. Left, right, left, right, to get yourself ready. From here, bring your hip up, bring your knee up, and turn. Come back in position. Come back in position. Just like so, okay? Demonstrate the power of the leg kicks. I'm gonna bring in Miss Queen Lay Kick herself, Marlon McCray. Come on in. Position. Okay, go. Now, once you see notice that she's throwing the leg kick, she's turning her hip completely all the way through. With her right hand, it will actually come down. You swing it down, turning your hip, you get full power. Double. Ow! Okay, time. Thank you very much. Now, the arm kicks. Demonstrating this is Salwan and Wayne. Okay. All right, take a deep breath. Most important thing before you start your power work is just to relax. Okay. All right. Down your stance. Ready? Roundhouse. Go. Again, using the weapon with your shins, thrust your hip to the side into the pad, the middle of the pad here. This is how one is showing. Again, stay on your toes. Keep your hands high. Keep your chin down. Just like someone to demonstrate. Five, four, three, three, four, five. Ah, very good. Defending from straight punches. Straight punches are going to be coming at your nose or your chin. It's very simple. To defend them, keeping your guards high, open your palm. You will use the palm to smack the oncoming fist, just like so. Okay? Defending the hook punch. It's a little bit different. Not like boxing. Boxing do, does a lot of the bobbing and weaving. Muay Thai, you cannot do that. We see you bob, the knee will come out, it will get caught right on your chin. For Muay Thai, one of the basic drills that you work with defending a hook punch is using this technique. In guard position, simply raise your arm up. Using your shoulder to cover your chin, you defend against the hook punch, just like so. Just like so. Just like so. Just like so. Help demonstrate Wayne will throw some straight punches and some hooks, and I'll show you how they're utilized. Okay? So straight punches first. Ready? One more. Just like so. Now with the hooks. Now, it's very important in this particular technique, when you cover off the hook, that you don't keep your body straight. 
Simply the fact is, is that the impact will get you off balance. And this is what I mean for the hook. By standing straight, the impact of the punch, you lose your balance. Therefore, the technique that he just threw is effective. And when it's effective, the judge's eyes and the people's eyes, they think that the punch was a very strong punch. So when you see the hook come, sit down on your legs. Base your leg on the floor with your heel, your whole foot touching the floor. So once you see the hook come, sit into, put your body weight onto the floor. Just like so. Defending push kicks. What they are attacking is your stomach area. All you simply have to do is at guard position, take your arm, you're going to swing it down in front of your stomach, just like so. And as you swing, you're gonna cup your hand, just like this, and what's gonna happen is once they throw the push kick, the, the foot is gonna land right on top of this, naturally. From here, you will swing it out. This is the motion, how it's gonna look. Same with the right, off of the right push kick. To help you demonstrate that even better so you can see, here's Wayne again. He will throw the push kicks and I will deflect it. Just like so. Now, Wayne is helping me out. So, when I'm deflecting, he's swinging his hip all the way around just like this. If you have a partner, let it naturally come. When your partner throws a push kick, don't swing your hips for him. Just let it, let it come. If he doesn't swing, then he doesn't swing. Yeah. My job is to literally get the opponent off balance. Swing them all the way around so they cannot attack. If you help your partner out, you might as well not throw this technique. Just like so. Again, in front of your stomach, swing it out, cup your hand. Swing them around so they're off balance, then you can counter punch. Same with the left side. Same idea. Make sure you get them, swing them so they get off balance. For this technique, you can counter, and so forth. Blocking against leg kicks and arm kicks. It's one motion, we call it the wall. At guard position, all you simply do is check or lift your knee at waist level. With your feet pointing straight out, keeping your hands up high, just like so. Same up against the arm kick when it's gonna come around here. You're gonna bring it even higher, just like so. We call this the wall because wherever he kicks, low or high or above the head, you're still going to be able to defend yourself. You'll be able to block the kick. Okay, to help you demonstrate that, the someone rest. Just like so. is about 30 pounds heavier than me so I suggest whoever your partner is that they be about the same size he's 30 pounds heavier than me and he's not throwing that kick as hard as he would like so even though he's throwing kicks and I'm defending it hurts so make sure your partner uh, is about the same way therefore you can use the technique a lot better thank you Ludo. Ready? What you want to look for is your eyes at the hip. For the reason that the legs are going to be coming, the first thing that moves is the hip. Keep your eyes at the hip so you know where it's going to go, low or high. Just like so. It's important not to flinch when the kick comes. Some people kick hard, some people kick soft. When the kicks come, do not flinch. You still. Raise it up, fearless, flawless, simple. The tie pad drills. Now what I'd like you to do is grab a partner, gear up. Have your partner put on the shin pads, have them put on the tie pads. And for yourself, grab a pair of gloves, put them on. What we're gonna do is put those basic techniques, those basic weapons, and put it together, starting off with just your basic punch and your basic kick. From there, we will build on to more combinations using those basic weapons. After that, we'll use the knees, and after that, we'll use the elbows. I'll show you what I mean. The first combination with your partner, what I'd like for you to do, is use a one-two punch, 
Pretend your partner's gonna throw a leg kick at you. Defend, come back in position, throw the roundhouse kick, and come back. I want you to do that for two minutes with your partner. Now, demonstrate that as Wayne and Marlo again. Again, the basic punches, one, two. Pretend your partner throws a leg kick, you defend, you counter with an arm kick yourself. drills when you have a partner it's best that you move around because it makes it more real if you stand there and using the techniques and throwing the kicks and the punches you might as well hit the bat so if you have a partner make it real give me different angles what I mean by that is your partner throw the punch throw the kick after that combination move throw the punch throw the kick and move give it some realistic value okay? That's it. One, two, punch, you send the leg kick, and then the arm kick. One, two, punch, you send the leg kick, and then the arm kick. Now again, pace yourself. That's it. Stop. Breathe. You're doing this for two minutes. Just because he's holding the pads doesn't mean you gotta go, 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 go right away. Two minutes is a long time. Breathe. Move around a little bit. You're in control. That's it. Since this is the, since this is the basic, you are doing the drills. You are in control. Your partner is there just to hold the time for you, for you to learn your basic punches, your basic kicks, your basic knees. One, two, punch, defend, and time. Okay. Now let's move on to combination number two. Now we're going to add knees. Someone come on in. Okay, with your partner, take a deep breath, one minute break. What I'd like for you to do now, along with that combination, one, two, defend, then you're gonna throw that roundhouse kick. From here, with the same leg, thrust a long knee, bang, come back in position, take your arms, grab, then relax. Knee and knee, push up. So basically this combination we're adding the long knee and the grab knee. Okay, here we go again, slowly. One, two, defend, arm kick. Relax, long knee, grab. From there, push off, come back in position. Okay, don't speed yourself up. This is what I mean. Make sure you pace yourself. All right. Ready? Go. Again, move around. Relax. That's it. And all of the pad drills, it's very important that you keep your chin down. It's very important as well. You hear the breathing. Every time you execute a weapon, whether it's a punch or a knee, you exhale. Breathe out. Hush, hush. Okay, time. Alright, one more technique. What we're gonna add after we grab knees, you're gonna push off. Your partner will throw a right hook towards you, utilizing uh, defense from the right hook, you're going to cover, you're going to block. And from here, you're going to throw that right elbow. Right position, and bang. Okay? So, let's start it all over again. One, two, defend, arm kick, relax, long knee, grab, knee, knee. Once you finish, push your partner up, he's going to attack you with the right hook, cover, bang. Right elbow, that's your finishing technique. Utilizing all of these weapons. Okay. <clears throat> Again, pace yourself, you are in control. Okay? So all these techniques put 
everything together by now. This is the third round. You should have already known the drill. Combination. That's it. One more time. And time. The very last drill that you're going to add to the pad drills is this technique, the elbows. Once you've used the long knee and then grab your partner, thrusting two knees, from here you're going to push off, your partner will throw a right hook, you will cover just like so as you have learned and then from here you will counter with a right elbow, okay? That is your last technique. Let's put this all together from the beginning. One, two, defend the leg kick, arm kick, relax, thrust the long knee out, grab your partner, knee, knee, push off, cover, elbow, and then from there, start again. Okay, let's see this done, defense. Most important thing is make sure you expel air. Thailand, that's all you hear is ish, ish, ish from your trainers. Ish, ish, ish. The fighters like ish, ish, ish. Notice how Sowen thrusts his knee out. Again, stay on your toes with your partner moving around just like so. Again, pace yourself. And time. Very well done, guys. So you now have the tools to succeed. Please continue to practice these techniques until you are comfortable. So I got my daily regimen for my workout routine. What I like to start doing is to do a five-minute jump rope session. Okay, so we're gonna loosen up with the jump rope, find the rope, find a spot. As you can see, my team's already started. Let's go. Alright guys, Alpha Male is here. Thank you, thank you. Alright, let's get started. basic technique, just attacks only, punches, push kicks, and low kicks and high kicks. Alright, let's put it together. Three minutes. Don't forget to expel. Expel air. 1992, after graduating from high school, um, I started working out with a friend of mine who was a black belt in karate. And uh, we were at a local boxing gym and uh, we were found out by a a promoter for one of these kickboxing bouts. So he had asked me to train with him. Um, I honestly didn't because I felt that I wasn't the violent type of guy. But anyways, he persisted and uh, we hooked up finally and he trained me for a couple of months and next thing I know I'm in the ring for my first amateur bout. I knocked the guy out ever since then. Um, I fell in love with it, you know, the camera, the people applauding you and uh, you know, it was a great feeling and I knew that I would be involved in this sport for a long time. That night, Maurice Smith, who's a heavyweight world champion, told me that I was gonna go places. And sure enough, I did. Rounds two and rounds three. Again, for three minutes, now you're gonna add your defensive techniques, more combinations, add more elbows, add more knees into your team. Okay, let's go. Two and three. As you can see on the belt here, it says IMTF Women's Lightweight. Obviously, I'm not a woman, so it's my wife. We met through the um, uh, fight circuit. Um, I took her on as one of my uh, fighters, and she was one of my um, students who became a title holder. I've had three so far that have become title holders under my tutelage and my handlage, and 
and um, she has been with me ever since and um, she continues to move on and hopefully she'll be turning pro professional very, uh, very soon. Alright, that's enough. Feel free to continue shadow boxing as long as you want, as long as you feel free, feel, feel that you need to, okay? That you've loosened up enough. Alright, let's move on to the second set of working out. Bad workout. My next routine. I usually do for about three rounds. The first round, three minutes long. All, all of the rounds are three minutes long. The first round, just work on your attack. Again, basic punches, basic kicks. Okay? off with that first round and you go to rounds two and three you're gonna add more combinations put your defense together as well pretend somebody's kicking you pretend somebody's punching you on the back yourself but pick it up as the rounds go by. Second and third round, put more technique together, make sure you breathe. Okay? So let's finish off with that and move on to the next drill. Let's go. Alright, technique drills. My next routine. Put your gear on, grab a partner, gloves, shin pads. Okay? Don't need a head gear, don't need a shin pad. I'm going to explain why. Yeah? What we're going to do is to alternate techniques. Meaning, I do a technique, whether it be a punch or a kick, and he does the same thing afterwards. Again, we're not going to make contact to the face. We've got small gloves, but just imitate in front. Hit to the shoulder, that's fine. You can make light contact to the body, that's fine. Kicks, go light as well, okay? The first round, for five minutes, just work on attacking, okay? Get used to hitting the target all the time. You know where the targets are now, at this time in this video, okay? So let's go. Five minutes now let's put our defensive techniques together as well so when he attacks try to defend his oncoming weapons okay second set. Now let's move on to our pad work. Let's go. Pad work. Now with a partner 
have them put their shin pads on and a pair of tie pads. Each round is three minutes long. You can go anywhere from three rounds to five rounds. But the first set, what I always like to do is just work on your basic attack, just to get used to you with your partner, okay? Basic punches, basic kicks. After the first round, we'll go to rounds two and three, even four and five. If you have the stamina, you're in good shape. Rounds two, two, three, add defensive techniques also. Your partner will throw low kicks, high kicks, punches. Learn how to block them. Counter technique with face. That's it with your pad work. Again, continue doing your basics on the pads. Drills, drill it after drill, okay? All right, now let's move on to our cool down techniques. After pad work, let's calm down a bit by doing some shadow boxing. Slow it down, slow down the pace, let your body cool down, okay? I like to do this for about three minutes to five minutes. Just practicing going over your technique again. After you've done your shadow boxing, you've loosened up now. Now we're gonna finish off with some sit-ups and push-ups. Just remember, three and three, okay? Three sets of sit-ups, three sets of push-ups. I like to do 30. So what we're gonna do, 30 crunches. <laughs> Once you've done 30, flip over, get your push-ups done. We'll set up 30 as well. Again, three sets and that's it. Three sets of three sets of each. Okay, if you want to continue doing more cool down routines, that's fine as well. Finish off with some stretching and that's it. You're done with your routine. All right? Okay, continue to train, practice your drills, practice your basics. Give it about another month or two, then you can try to work on the advanced tape. So we'll see you then.